Hi and welcome to this special edition of Tech Helix. Today we're doing something a bit different. We're not reviewing something, we're potentially building something. So the iPad Pro has been out for a while and there's things about it that people love. The Apple Pencil and the keyboard case. But these things aren't new to the iPad, but they're new from Apple. The question has to be, can you make a decent iPad into an iPad Pro equivalent. So I've got a few things that I think will help you make your iPad into an iPad Pro. So I have my iPad. It's an iPad Air 2, 64 gig. I love my iPad and I love the look and the feel of the new iPad Pro. Having played with it, I really enjoyed the experience, but I cannot justify spending over 600 pounds on a tablet. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to make my iPad more like an iPad Pro in every way possible. And there's a few things obviously you can't do, but here's what I have done and what I think you should do. First thing is pick up a decent stylus. Now there's loads out there on the market. There's the cheap ones all the way through to hundred pound expensive ones. Now I'm not looking to spend hundred pounds because I might as well buy an Apple Pencil and go buy an iPad Pro if I'm gonna spend that money. The stylus that I've chosen for this project is a Jot Dash. Now it retails around 27 pounds and does everything you need it to do. It works very much like the Apple Pencil. The only difference is it connects by Bluetooth and it only works with selected apps. But those apps will be enough to make use of the power that you're gonna get from a stylus. The second thing I'm gonna do is pick up an ultra thin keyboard. Now I don't want a keyboard case, because I really like the case that you can get from Apple, the smart case. It feels really nice in your hand. It's got a really good quality finish. And a third party case will not have that. So what I've chosen to do is pick up a Logitech thin and light keyboard. And on eBay, I found this for about 13 pounds. Now the final thing I wanna do is leverage the power of mobility, replacing my laptop in most cases with my iPad. And that's why I'm gonna pick up the camera connection kit. Now this allows me to take my DSLR out with me on the go, shooting full HD video and then offload it to my iPad and use this to store it on the cloud. And that allows me to continue to work and use the camera, fill the card up, and use this, upload it. So if you pick up those three things, you've got all the hardware you need to replicate the experience of an iPad Pro. Yes, your iPad will be slower than an iPad Pro, but all the applications you could get for an iPad Pro work on any other iPad. That would then allow you to go off and be as productive as you can possibly imagine because the world is your oyster if you have the right technology. So there you have it. Rather than spending over a thousand pound on the new iPad Pro with all its accessories for as little as around 600 pounds, I've managed to pick up a 64 gig iPad, a keyboard, a stylus, and a camera connection kit. And that gives me my iPad Pro experience. So let me know what you think. Would you do this? Do you think you could turn your iPad into an iPad Pro? Comment down below and let's find out what you think about this iPad Pro-esque experience. You can also hit me up on Twitter, at Tech Helix. So until next time, on the next special, thank you very much for watching Tech Helix.